The Villages RV Club was founded in 1985, right here in San Jose, California. For the first time, nearly 40 years after it began, the RV Club put on an open house that welcomed members and non-members alike to visit their personal RVs and get a feel for the club and the RV lifestyle. Let's roll out the awning and get this thing started. Everyone was set up and ready to get the fun started. They even had some games we could play, including this oh, one. Geez. This is advanced for the fun. Oh, me. And here we go. Yes, you're seeing this right. We were tossing rolls of toilet paper into toilet bowls. But this game was no joke. Lily and I both gave it our best efforts to no avail. But it was Susie Q who showed us how it's done. Good morning. We are here with the Villages RV Club and we have co-chairs here of the Villages RV Club, Jim Kosky and Joel Pollock. And we have some questions on why we should join the Villages RV Club. We're all for fun, fun, fun. That's why you get to see a lot of cool places. So a lot of people who come to the Villages already own RVs. Yes. And uh, one of the great things that we have in the Villages is this amazing lot. And many of us have had to find places to park our RVs Absolutely. and they weren't paved. They were gravel and dirt. And, right. and, and shady. Look at this. And in fact, it wasn't this way when I moved in, but now we even have solar panels shading a lot of the RVs. Yeah. Having it convenient, having it reasonably priced, is, is a wonderful attribute for coming to the villages if you have an RV. Yes. And not all of the people in this lot belong to the RV club, mm -hmm. but a significant portion of them do. Yeah. And we're trying to get more to join us as yes. we go because we'd like to organize uh, social events to get yes. all these people together. Community. And, and that's why we joined. We really, you know, uh, we had an RV and we wanted to meet people and go on trips. And the only one that we've been on is with Cotillion Gardens in Santa Cruz. And we loved it so much that we really came back on our own. But, uh, you know, the potlucks were wonderful. The camaraderie uh, was wonderful. I would like to know from, from Jim and Joel, from all the adventures that they've been on with the RV club, which one really stands out for you? I'm a hiker and uh, uh, one that stands out is when we go up to the gold country. Uh, there's an Indian casino up there, the Black Oak Casino in Tuolumne near Sonora. Yes. And just up the hill from that is uh, uh, Pinecrest Lake. And it's about a four mile hike to go around there. And that's one of my favorite places to hike. Oh, yeah. Okay, and, and yours, Joel? So, I lived for many years in the Northwest and I camped in so many of the wonderful campgrounds for, for RVs and tents, et cetera, in the Oregon park system. Oh. So when we moved down here, it was 2000. My wife came and joined me down here in 2005 and we really didn't know where to go. Right. So I've been very dependent upon the club to get suggestions. You know, yes. we've been to Bodega Bay, we've been to the Jackson Rancheria, we've been to a number of spots and we wouldn't have known where to go yes. if it weren't for the club. Yes. Sadly, COVID kind of put a damper on the club going out together. Right. And Jim and I are working really hard to try to get that a spirit of core of thinking okay. of ourselves as a club. So we will go out and camp together again. Uh -huh. And it's a fantastic social uh, opportunity. Yes. That, uh, you know, it's one thing if you have a casual chat with someone for, uh, you know, half an hour, hour, but when you're actually living with them for yeah. four or five right. days, right. Uh, you can get, um, yeah. you know, a lot more yeah. knowledgeable. You bond. Uh, you're, yeah, you're bonding better. Yeah. The other advantage of being in a club like this, is, since you own an RV, you know this, they're not the most reliable things ever made. No. Uh, you're often fixing this and that. And yes. having a community of people to go to, to ask for advice. Yes. You know, yeah, you can get a lot of it on the, on the internet, but yeah. having someone who will look over your shoulder at a problem and help to solve it. Yeah. That's worth a great deal too. It's about what we're going to see today. Well, we have uh, a variety of RVs uh, that our members own. So 
Uh, there's everything from the Class A, those are the larger ones, the size of a school bus, mm -hmm. uh, down to the uh, travel trailers mm -hmm. uh, that you pull behind a car, and some of them are even smaller than that, the little teardrop trailers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's a van conversion over here. Um, that, uh, that is really handy because uh, you can use it like a regular car. We have Class A, Class B, and Class C. The C looks like a truck. If you look behind you, you'll see one that looks, that's a class C. Well, we have a variety of these things. We try to make sure for this event. Showed people the range of things that they can own, and they each have their advantages. The idea is to try to expose people and bring some other people from the community down here who maybe thought about RVing, but never quite pulled the trigger to go and do it, to see what it's like. We have, in fact, a few members who don't own RVs right. in our club. Right. While it is true that owning and operating an RV requires some easily learned knowledge, we were amazed at the folks who used imagination and ingenuity to customize their RVs exactly how they wanted them. Take Susie Q for an example. Well, these are the captain's uh, seats and uh, we're going to get them repolstered, but uh, I made this uh, chest table. Oh, oh wow. Cocktail table. Yeah. Uh, now I know how to do it with, without painting. I had to paint every square. Oh my God. Here is another table that I did that has a you know, dining room leaf. You know, you put a little leaf in yeah. here, have some more people. Right. This, we added this. Normally you have a dining room yes. like yours. We, we, yes. we changed mm -hmm. to this. Very good. Like uh, this, for more space, I put this yep. in, built that. This Very is. nice. In here is the bathroom, which is tall enough for you, Tim. Yeah, and the shower. <laughs> shower. It is tall enough. Look at that shower, it's nice. Yeah, lots of room. Very, very nice. These are really neat. Very, yeah, very keep nice. Keep your spices. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the spices, because otherwise, you know, you can't find them. <laughs> and what, what model is this? This is a 27N Vista 2017 from Winnebago. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this big TV. Yes, we have people sometimes sit outside. We yeah. Too many people will sit outside and they can still watch the telly. That's amazing. It's 48 inches. Yeah. That is beautiful. This very piece nice. is from Diane Finley of from Ceramics. Gave it oh. to me when I broke my hip playing pickleball. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. John's teardrop trailer. The New Camp Tab 320 is another fine example of necessity meeting creativity. I made that table myself. Oh, you did? <laughs> this, this thing can be pushed, pushed around in any way you want. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. This thing comes off and this comes off. Yeah. This thing pulls out over like that. Uh-huh. On both sides. It's so easy to travel and have an adventure on the spot. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. I've seen more. When this came out, I never saw windows like that before. Um, well, yeah. Look at that. And you can put the, leave the front screen up right. or not. Yeah. And this comes up if you want. Probably. Oh, wow. So I'm going to softer light. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and this That's is made cool. by New Camp. New, it, new, new Camp. New Camp. the little influence there. Do you know who makes it? Yeah. New Camp. New Camp. New Camp. <laughs> Duh. It's, it's called a tab. Tab. Tab 320. Tab 320 for the folks that want to get one. Very cool. Good. I got that's what the bed looks like. When oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's when it's being put together. Oh, you have all the, yeah, the, the points down. Okay. Larry's Class B van is another example of proof that great things come in small packages. He even raised the bed higher himself to make it more comfortable. And I raised the bed five inches so we get more storage space. Oh, there you go. So, so I had to get extra cushions. Good for you. I'm not that in. I'm not that much of an engineer. I don't know if I can figure that one. <laughs> it took me over a year to figure it out. Oh, really? I finally, I found some nuts. There's hexagon nuts that's mm -hmm. about that long. Yeah. With threads. Yeah. So then I buy the threaded poles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did that work? Okay. And here comes Lily. Hello. So it really feels like home for yeah. such a small no, space. No, it's nice. It's really nice. I mean, for for a van, it feels real roomy, you know? My wife and I, when we cross each other on the hallway, we have to go sideways. Yeah. <laughs> right. Anybody home? 
Nobody home? This is a Class C. Yes, Jayco. Jayco Class C. Does it have its model number up there? 22C. So in Class C, you've got the bed up on top. Cab over. Back of your bedroom. And the bathroom. Beautiful bathroom. Nice shower. We even toured our own trailer. A Winnebago 2108DS. This it, inside looks like this thing is brand new. It is. It's pretty brand new. I mean, we, we just got it last September. We started off with a 24 foot trailer and we pulled we it behind too. my wife's Silverado. Yeah, uh, when we lived up in the Northwest. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it served us very well for many years. Yeah, yeah but this yeah. is good for us. I yeah, mean, it's got so everything bad, we need. Got a this cool is a shower. lot nicer than the 24 foot trailer we have. This is very, very nice. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. And at least I can stand up well. And John's, you know, I have to sort of. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah tall people. Liz and Van stopped by for a visit as well. We had a great chat. Good, yes, yes, you too. Hi, hi. Oh, yeah. oh, look at your cute little camera. Oh, yeah, my little, my little GoPro. I'm just, yeah. and, and, and right now, you know, Tim and I are still working. So, and every other Friday, we have a three day weekend. So, we do weekends in this, That's see? Great. And then he, he does his YouTube channel and you oh know, my you do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I meditate on this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Mosh Lab Big is great. Oh, is it? We have so there's an electric catamaran yep. on the slough there, and they wow. have um, well, it feels they yeah. have a, yeah. what do you call it? A, like a docent or somebody uh -huh. on yeah. the on yeah. the yeah. tour guide kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Except that they're but they're affiliated they're with the uh, yeah. Yes. They're they're the real deal. Yeah, yeah. They, and they, it's great. You learn something, yes. and it's lovely. So I think it's some visitors. Yes, you know, we've got a great turnout here at the RV show at the Villages and got a lot of good reviews of our micro mini. So it's a great weekend trailer and, and also, uh, you know, it has everything you need so you can go longer than a weekend. So, good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we have a great turnout today. Unbelievable. I just have to say that if there's one thing RVers know how to do, it's how to enjoy some fantastic food wherever they go. The open house was no exception. Yo, Chef Kosky. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> hey, take a look. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my wow. Yes. Yeah, you need smell of vision That's lucky. Yeah, smell of vision would be good. Thank you. So there was one more RV we wanted to see before the end of the open house. Roger and Cindy's 34-foot Class A is truly a full-timer's dream rig. This is something you could live in all year long. What a beautiful RV. Need to do a load of laundry? Absolutely no problem. Well, it's about time to wrap this up. We've had a great time today seeing some beautiful RVs and spending some time with a wonderful group of people. Any last words? Uh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for uh, joining our club and, and being a part of this. Uh, you're a real credit to the team. Uh -huh. and we, we're looking forward to seeing more of those wonderful videos. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. You provide a great service uh, in your videos, too. Uh, I'm anxious to try that ice cream store in uh, <laughs> the Capitola that you just told us about. Uh, I'll go back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I hope you're enjoying our, our RV show here at the Villages and meeting, you know, people from all walks of life with all walks of RVs. So uh, driving and enjoying the RV life. It is. A, and it really doesn't matter what what you choose, but it's nice to know you have choices mm -hmm. um, because everyone's family, everyone's living situation is different. Um, and there's so many different types of RVs that you could choose from. 
big ones, small ones, you know, ones yeah. that are real bare bones or ones that are just lavish and mm -hmm. have, you know, marble floors and yeah. everything else. So there's just a lot of choices out mm -hmm. there. And it's, and it's nice to come to a little RV show like this where you can see what's available. Yeah, without being pressured to buy anything, you can really, you know, get a just a vision of, of what, you, what you'd like and what type of adventures that you'd like. Yeah. So, so, uh, so yeah, so thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks a lot for joining us. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going and uh, we'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.